They're cavorting, right? The reindeer. Are those reindeer? Okay, they're not really reindeer. I think they're <laughs> we the whole deer Re debate. But or there are reindeer. Control. Not also. in Utah. No? I don't think so. I think so. But We'll check know, on we'll, that. We'll discuss. All right. <laughs> It was a cool looking video though. <laughs> All right, I want to thank you very much for watching, but start your day with Good Day LA tomorrow morning, bright and early at 4.30. But coming up next here, Box 11 Sunday Sports with Liz Habib, so don't go away. Box 11 Sports Wrap is brought to you by Jack in the Box, where everyone is a part of the game. The Rams have lost two games in a row, and now all the fans are wondering what is going on? What is wrong with this team? It looks like the path to the Super Bowl will go right through New Orleans. Ron Pitts mm -hmm. is here with me tonight, and that's a good thing because we got to dissect this. The loss tonight to the world champion. Eagles, don't forget they were the, the Super Bowl That's champs. exactly right, you know, and then don't forget Nick Foles made a reappearance here, and that was key because Carson Wentz injured, Foles comes back, and the magic came back with him. Good football player, that was a good game, and it exposed some flaws in the Rams. We're going to get to this in a minute, but, you know, everyone was like, oh, it's the backup quarterback, it's Nick Foles. The guy won the Super Bowl right. with this team. It's I know he's the backup, but I was watching the game with Jackie and Vince, and they said this is a different team with Nick Foles on it. Well, completely, and I thought the Rams were a little lethargic, number one. And I think that the Eagles did one thing you have to do to the Rams when you play them. Don't let them have the big play. And if you look at the secondary play, we saw it with Chicago, you see it now. They play what's called quarters. It's a four-across look. They're not letting the Rams get that huge splash play that gets the crowd going, gets the team going. They get up by 10, and we've talked about what happens when the Rams get up by 10 on you. They're very hard to defend. They stop that. Uh, hats off to uh, Schwartz, Jim Schwartz, the defensive coordinator oh, for Philadelphia. That's yeah, right. he's, he's been around a while, and he mm -hmm. kind of took the model uh, that, that they used last week with Vic Fangio in Chicago, and so that's what happens in the league. People get that book out on you, and now they're just starting to repeat what's worked. Well, and the Rams the, are going to have to learn to work through that. Look at the book out on Goff, on Jared Goff. Yeah. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Pressure Goff, and he's not able to get things done. And we saw that against the Bears. And That's we right. saw that over and over again tonight. And you don't need sacks necessarily. Yes, sacks are sexy, but you need pressure. And when you say pressure, Liz, you mean they're getting Jared Goff's unit.